very uncomfortable on him. Look at the buttons, barely keeping that thing together, as if something is ready to rip out from underneath. Yes, like a piece of ceramic armor, for example. One that makes a clicking sound when the plates meet each other, resembling pearls or marbles, stolen from the corpse in the yard near where he lives. I knew you'd figure it out, officer. I'm sorry I didn't tell you at once. I was... I was ashamed of what I did, and I didn't want you to know. Gary, what's going on? Later, Morale. I've got apologizing to do. No, you've got explaining to do. Everyone was picking those pieces off him, and I was watching them do it and they'd scattered his clothes all over the yard. Everything was smelling. So I went there to take out the trash and started cleaning up. All those rags on the ground, him swinging up there, and I had a lapse of honor, sir. I thought, he's a foreigner. They all say he wasn't from here. Only the caress was left, so I stripped it off him. It was early in the morning, no one saw me, I took it with me. It was a mistake. Had I known it'd give you guys trouble, I... I wouldn't have... Fuck. It's okay. It was a loose end, and you're a tiny tap now. I'm so fucking sorry I called you Yellow Man. Sealite officers commanded the Suzerain's Navy. Most of them sided with the King when... They were thoroughly conservative men, he realizes suddenly. It's difficult to say what the lieutenant thinks of this historic apology. His face does not belie emotions. Because I was weak. I should have told you the moment I saw you, but... The hell, Gary? You in trouble? I'll explain later. I always thought it was the Union. Some Union hard asses lynched him because of the strike. But almost everyone in town knows that. I wish I could tell you more. He sighs again, hangs his head, and unbuttons his shirt fully. A cuirass that matches the dead man's boots comes into view. Soon it is in your hands, smelling of his sweat. Yes, absolutely. I will never do anything like this again. No, no. I help Morel with research sometimes, and I've learned some things along the way. But I don't usually go in for picnics like this on my own. There probably is a follow-up to this, but you can't think of any. Doesn't matter. Waste of time anyway. Gotta keep moving. I told you everything. I just took the queerest, that's all. I promise. Tis true, sire. This man simply did not know what he was getting caught up in. I'm sorry for what I said. Short means sincere in these things. This man is truly sorry for underestimating the honor and military might of the seer like man. Sure do, officer. In my home, yes. When I was going to... How did you know?
Is this about the Union? Did the big man open the door? So you work for Everard Clare? Officer, please tell him we're good. Have I done? He'll send the muscle after me. As he lowers his tone, he hunches his back. What could it be about? I probably talked too loud. In the whirling. About some theories I had. Whatever it is, I'm done with it. I won't do it again. If there's anything I can do to assist you, or the Union, just ask, okay? I'll try to help if I can. This scared him proper. He's positively melting from fear has to prop himself up with a lot of anger to keep it together. The weather vein has turned. He cannot be unturned. He clearly liked his squirming. He may even have changed his mind about the whole door opening operation. <laughs> 